1910, a landmark study known as the Flexner Report demanded that medical schools in the United States raise the bar for physician education. Many of the standards it set remain today. The report recommended the closure of many schools, but paid special attention to schools for women and people of color. In the end, it caused the closure of six all-female medical schools and five historically black institutions. Howard University and the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania were two of the survivors. Before the report, women and minorities both had opportunities to not only become physicians, but train as ophthalmologists. The first woman to practice ophthalmology in the United States was Isabel Hayes Shapin Barrows. In the 1870s, she practiced ophthalmology and lectured at Howard University. After the 1910 report, the remaining medical schools tilted the scales toward male students. The tide would not turn in the favor of women and minorities until Congress approved two pieces of landmark legislation, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title IX legislation in 1972. These laws helped level the playing field. Women and minorities re-entered medicine in increasing numbers. Lois Young was a key pioneer among women and minorities. She was the first black female graduate from the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Dr. Young is particularly remembered for encouraging other women and minorities to enter the field of ophthalmology. She was the acting chief of ophthalmology at Howard while I was a student there. And um, she inspired not only myself, but eight or 10 of my classmates, we all decided to go into ophthalmology after her. Mentorship is important for encouraging diversity in medicine and ophthalmology. I did an ophthalmology rotation at University of Illinois, really found that I, I loved it. And while I was doing that rotation, Dr. Eve Higginbotham was there. And she just tapped me on my shoulder. She saw me in the library and said, um, what are you doing here? <laughs> I said, oh, I want to be an ophthalmologist, I, you know. And so it's been a great ride. I, I just, I love it. And I would all to her, really. <laughs> That's, I think, the importance of having people mentor you through through life because there was no reason for her to reach out to me on that day but she tapped me on my shoulder and things changed forever and the tradition of mentorship continues since 2016 the American Academy of Ophthalmology has partnered with the Association of University Professors of Ophthalmology on the Minority Ophthalmology Mentoring Program the program aims to increase diversity in the nation's ophthalmology residency programs, establishing relationships that nourish students throughout their careers, building on a long history of women and minorities in medicine.